Hey, what's up guys? I'm on Arts here, and this is going to be a tutorial all about materials in Cinema 4D. So let's start off. We're going to be making a grunge material, and I'm also just going to be covering a lot of basics of materials. So what a material is, it, you can find them right here, right here, or you can load them in. And it's just something that you drag on to pretty much anything you make in Cinema 4D. If you didn't know, that's pretty basic. So first, let's just set up a basic scene, what you're going to be applying your materials on. You want a text object, and I'm going to make mine say grunge. And I have a fillet cap, a start fillet cap and end fillet cap, and the fillet type is engraved. But I'm actually going to change that to um, convex. doesn't really matter, though. I'm just going to make my text 400 feet. 160. And I also have a global illumination and ambient occlusion on. And uh, watch my other tutorial if you don't want to know how to set that up. And I have basic render settings 1280 by 720, all frames um, saved as a quick time movie. So that's pretty much it for like settings. So we're going to be making like a grunge material or something like that. So you're going to go to Safari or Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever you have. So look up grunge metal texture, and for image size large, so it doesn't, so it's a good quality image. And I already have five of the ones I like uh, saved, and I'm going to show you how to save your own material. But just look it up and double click on one that you want. Let's just use this one, or it, do, it really doesn't matter, just choose one you like. And you're going to go to see full size image and you're going to right click and save image as and once you have it saved the way that you um make a material you go into your finder and you um find it there's a different material but you're going to drag it in and go back to cinema 4d and you're going to click no for this and now you have that own material I already have saved this one but you can go in here to edit it and I'm going to be showing you how to edit stuff also but just say you don't want to edit it, what you're going to do is file, save material preset, and give it a name. But I'm not going to do it because I already have saved it. And then click OK. And then it will come up when you do file, load material preset, it will be under user and materials. You can see I already have five grunge materials that I made. So I'm going to delete this. And let's play around different materials. So to load a material, you can either double click here to make your own material, which we're not going to be doing. And to load the grunge material, you can do load material preset, user, materials, and let's do grunge. Just load all of them. I will experiment with different ones. Alright, there we go. We got all of the materials loaded in. Let's just try dragging one of them in and see what happens. So let's render this. As you can see, one problem that you guys are probably going to have as you drag it in, one, it doesn't show up on the front, and two, it's all in lines in the back. And that's because it's not mapped the right way, so I'm going to show you how to map it correctly. So once you have it dragged on, you're going to click on the first one, and you're going to control drag, so it has a plus sign, so you have two materials. So your first one, this is going to be for the front of the text. Um, for selection, you're going to type capital C1, which means this material only appears on the front of the text. And for projection, you want it to be flat. And now when you click on that, um, if we render it, Ooh, did something wrong. Let me just go over this again. I need to switch to order around. I think that's the problem. So now let's render this. Awesome. So now you can see that material appears on the front of the uh, text, and I've been confused with this for a long time because it never worked for me but I just found out that you need to change the projection to flat and then but one problem you see well actually two problems one on the front 
the image repeats, and two, on the extrude, the, it's kind of like stretched out and all messed up. So this layer, the first one, which is the back part of the extrude, for projection you want cubic. And now you can see it makes it look a lot better. And you can play around, and since the image repeats, you're going to want to play around with the tiles. I'm going to start by trying 0.5 by 0.5. And pretty much the less tiles you have, the larger the image is going to be and the less times it's going to repeat. You can play around with the offset too. Alright, and now let's go to the front image and let's make the tiles 0.5, 5.5 and drag the offset just so, so it's like that, so it fills up the whole thing. Now, let's render. Yeah, that looks pretty good because the image repeats well over the thing. You can see there is a little line right here where the image repeats, but people won't really notice that, and if you want to take more time, you can always fix it. But uh, another thing we're going to do, we're going to be making a nice outline around the text. So what you can do, you're going to take the material that you've been using over here where my mouse is on the Materials tab. You're going to control drag it so you have two. You're going to double-click on the second one, and let's add um, some specular. So so click on specular and drag the width to 100% and the height to 100%. And then let's have a little bit of reflection. Let's around 25% for reflection. And let's try a bit of luminance, to around 15% luminance. And then you're going to take that new material. Wait, I think I was editing the wrong material. Um, so I'm just gonna edit undo all that. Edit undo for before. Uh, so it's right there exactly. Um, see, so yeah, I've just when the point when you just control drag it. I clicked on the wrong material. You want to click on this one, and let's just do the same settings. Specular the first two things, a hundred percent, and reflection around. 15% and the luminance around 15%. Now let's drag that new material onto the text. And for selection, we're going to do R1, capital R1, which means it only affects the, like the outline of the text or like the fillet cap, whatever you want to call it. So now let's render this out. So that's cool. It has kind of like a not really glowing, but like a, refl a nice reflective outline. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. And what we could also try doing, we could try dragging a material onto the floor. So let's just wait till this renders. Yeah, good enough. So click on the floor and let's just drag. You can drag the same material if you don't have more than one. And you can see it, it tiles, which is a problem. So you're going to click on floor and, or no, click on the material that's on floor. Let's try doing point, you just want it to be less tiles. So let's try point 0.1 by point 0.1. And let's play around with the offset. Now let's try rendering this out. And yes, you can see it does have a little um, little red text right there, but I'm not really going to worry about that because I guess I just chose a bad material. So just ignore that little text. You can see we still need to make it less tiles because it's too much. Um, let's see. To make, uh, no. Um, so let's try doing 0 0.05, pick point. 05. And you want to get uh, as big of an image as possible because the smaller the tiles, the more stretched out the image is going to be. 
and if it's a low quality image it's gonna look like shit when it's really if it's a small image it's gonna look like shit when it's stretched out so big so it's still repeating but I think hopefully you guys get the idea of how to make it so it doesn't repeat all you have to do is play around with the offset and keep making the tiles less until it works for you but I don't want to get too um, too caught into how to make it not tile so let's just go uh, go over some settings and materials so double click on that material you have and if you want to change the color of it let's try changing the color if we want to make it like like a grayish blue like this look it doesn't change it and that's because the mix mode needs to be multiply now you can see the color affects it let's just make it a little bit lighter and more gray looks pretty cool I'm not gonna go over to fusion because I don't really understand that for luminance um pretty much you can just play around it's pretty straightforward it just makes it more bright or less bright you can change the luminance color to something crazy like that but on this material in particular I don't think luminance works very well transparency again pretty straightforward just makes it see-through and you can choose how much you want that effect but um, I don't really use transparency very much unless I'm making like an abstract object or an array of spheres or something like that so let's uncheck that. Reflection, very commonly used. You can just stick with this and just play around with the numbers. Um, I like somewhere around like 5% works well, or 5, 10%. Or you can change the texture, very commonly done to Fresnel. And it just gives it kind of like a more realistic reflection look. So we'll keep that checked on. Um, not very good with this, but I know that if you check off bump and for texture you do, uh, where is it, noise, it's pretty cool. It makes it look like it has some actual texture to it and it's not just spherical. Um, so I guess we'll keep that checked on. And for specular, speculars, I think it's kind of like how much light reflects off of it. I'm just going to keep it the same. And those are pretty much the main settings that I use when editing material. So let's X that out and render it out and see how our settings that we did work. You can see that noise that we put on the floor gives it kind of like a cool, gives it a cool look. It actually has some texture. Also, when you put noise on it, as you can see, it kind of like spreads out to reflection, giving it kind of like a watery reflection almost. And I think that's I've pretty much covered uh, almost everything for materials. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please subscribe.